We are Amos the Transparent, and you're watching Queen's TV. Don't go away. <laughs> or Michael, come and get you. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Jonathan, I sing and play guitar. I'm Dan, and I play guitar. I'm Mike, and I play cello. <laughs> There, it's a record, and it's called Goodnight My Dear, I'm Falling Apart. There is 14 tracks on it, and uh, it spans a long time, and we spent a year and a half making the record. Um, some of the songs, uh, one in particular has been around for about seven years, so we're very excited that that finally sees the light of day. Um, if anybody is familiar with our other record, I think you can expect the quiet parts to be quieter and the louder parts to be louder. Yeah, and this record sort of came about from two EPs or two different styles that we were going for. So we originally released Goodnight My Dear and that was four or five songs and then we released a Falling Apart and that was sort of the heavier aspect. And then the full record is the two sides together. Because the record, I guess it sort of goes in a lot of different directions and that's what we wanted for this record was the heavier side and lighter side all together. So. Bit of a tight squeeze. Like, look at this, even this interview. We're just used to this right now. I mean, we, we're traveling in a, in a van, so it's cramped enough. Uh, but this still feels not even that big. A lot of times for these shows, we've been having more people on stage. We've had extra trumpets, extra strings, extra percussion and vocals. So some of our shows, we've had like 11 people on stage with us. So even when we break it down to seven, it's like, all right, this is a little spacious. This is all right. You know, I couldn't imagine, I'm so used to it, I couldn't imagine being a fourth piece or something like that. Even when there's, you know, only six of us in the van, we're kind of like, who's missing? You know? It's, you, you just grow accustomed to it, and I think you get used to sharing space and, and, and all that. I don't, a lot, of, a lot of times, like, I'll be playing like this, and if I want to turn to look at Dan, it'll be, you know, I gotta miss Mark's head, and then I gotta miss my microphone stand, and then I turn like, yeah. oh, there's Dan, and then I'll turn back and whack my microphone, and then I gotta go retrieve it, and it's like, heaven forbid, I wanna look at Mike. So yeah, there's so much more coordination <laughs> than there should be for this thing, just to not injure each other, and uh, I don't think we've ever injured anybody in this band, so that means we're focused. self-titled EP will always be played in our band all the time. Yeah, we, we've been lucky enough to play with a lot of bands that we just really like listening to. So we've been listening to the Zeus record quite a bit over the last little while. Um, we've been listening to the Darcy stuff too. Yeah. Represent the Darcy <laughs> stuff. I think the van is always just a big... Because you're talking about seven people, be eight people place. traveling traveling together. So it. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of different stuff. I think most of the time there's at least one Aerosmith song that gets bumped really loud. Uh, and John will throw on hollow notes. All the time. I'm still not sure about this. But. Oh, you're just not listening, right? I'm not. I don't <laughs> get it. Nearly seven hours into the drive, um, I'd do anything for love comes on. Oh, yes. Really loud to kind of remind everybody that we are here and together and need to sing. Really meet loud. Love. Really meet loud. love. Really loud. Because it's something you know families should do every now and then. Just sing meet love together. Right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, they should. And That's they why it. I put it on every That's day. Why I do it. Uh, we we did Australia last year. That was awesome. So it was one of those things where, um, you know, just a surreal experience where you just don't expect to be in Australia with your friends touring and playing festivals and things like that. So. Uh, I think that was definitely a highlight for me over the last little while. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And South by Southwest, shows like that where you just, these things that you don't expect to be doing, uh, and then you do them and it's pretty awesome. I think for me the favorite parts are when we do get to do, you know, week longs with, with bands like Darcy's or bands like Zeus, and you just become friends, of, friends with people who you're such a big fan of their music anyways, and you get to hear them every night and hang out with them afterwards. That's... I don't know, that's just an awesome part about what we do, I think. We have a string of dates in February, March, and then I think we'll just keep adding to it. Summertime's always great for the festival, so that's what we try to focus on the most. Yeah, wherever, uh, 
Wherever the good reviews come, that's, that's what we're going to probably try to go. I'm Jonathan, and this is Mike. We're from Amos and Transparent, and this song is called Coming Home. Um, it's a little snippet off our new record called Goodnight, My Dear, I'm Falling Apart, and it's, uh, it's about um, what it's like to have somebody not home all the time on tour who's not me, but my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back home Cause it's only 